Now, I will uh, work out G parameter for a couple of example circuits. So, this is my two port and to measure G parameters, I need two conditions with some independent source set to 0. Now, as usual I would encourage you to work out the parameters yourselves and compare it to the answer I give rather than simply looking at what I do. Okay? So, in one case I open circuit port 2 and in the other case I short circuit port 1 okay. and in the first case I apply voltage V 1 and measure I 1 and also V 2. Okay. Now, it is clear that this series combination of two 1 kilo ohm resistors is across V 1. So, I 1 is V 1 divided by 2 kilo ohms, which equals 0.5 milli Siemens times V 1. Similarly, V 2 it is the result of voltage division between these two resistors. So, we get 1 kilo ohm by 2 kilo ohm times V 1 or simply half of V 1. Okay. So, you see that this is G 1 1, this is G 2 1 okay. and similarly for the other two parameters I apply a current I 2 to port 2 and measure V 2 and I 1. Now, this current I 2 divides into two equal parts because the two resistors are equal and we will have a current I 2 by 2 that way and I 2 by 2 through this resistor. This I 1 is the same as the current through this resistor, but in the opposite direction. So, I 1 is minus I 2 by 2 or minus 0 0.5 times I 1 and finally, the parallel combination of these two 1 kilo ohm resistors appears across I 2. So, V 2 is the parallel combination of two 1 kilo ohm resistors which is half kilo ohm times I 2. Okay. So, this is G 1 2 and this is G 2 2. So, the G parameter matrix for this particular circuit is half a milli Siemens half minus half and half a kilo ohm. Okay, quite simple. Now, let me take the other circuit I have been taking all along with the control source. So, I have 1 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm and a 2 milli Siemens times V x, where V x is here that control source. This is my port 1 and port 2. So, as usual, I have two port conditions for uh, the two port parameter measurements. In one case, I open circuit port 2. and apply V 1, I measure V 2 and I 1. And in the other case, I have port 1 shorted, I apply I 2 and I measure V 2 and I 1. Okay and from these I will get all four parameters. 
So, G 1 1 I get from this it is I 1 by V 1 with I 2 equal to 0. G 2 1 also I get from this which is V 2 by V 1 with I 2 equal to 0. Similarly, G 1 2 I get from the second setup which is I 1 by I 2 with port 1 shorted and similarly, G 2 2 is V 2 by I 2 with port 1 shorted. Okay. I want to show the working out of these parameters in detail. Please pause the video at this point and evaluate all of these things and compare it to the answers that I will give. Okay. So, for this circuit this turns out to be 3 by 2 milli Siemens and this is minus half, minus half and half a kilo ohm. Okay. So, these are the G parameters of the circuit. Please calculate this by yourself as I said from scratch and also verify that this is the inverse of the H matrix you calculated earlier. Okay.